Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I'm Fish. K-Dog. Funko had a warehouse sale and we want to talk about it. What the fuck is going on there? Let's go. People got really upset the last time they did this because they had unclaimed nft grail redeemables for 15 dollars mm -hmm. a bunch of crazy shenanigans mm -hmm. nothing online you yeah. have to physically be in arizona to shop there mm -hmm. i don't know if that's necessarily fair to everyone i think everyone would love a crack at some of this stuff well some of the stuff is amazing it's crazy and, and good for the people that are there yeah if you're you in know? driving distance of in Arizona, then yeah. sure. Yeah, you're making out like a bandit. But so I don't understand the stuff that was there. I'm very confused by it. Uh, they had commons for six dollars, and mm -hmm. they had exclusives for seven dollars and fifty cents USD. Okay. So fifty percent off. Okay. Now some of the exclusives that were there, mm -hmm. they because uh, we should also say that this past weekend they had a uh, sale online. Right. So some of those prices were different they mm -hmm. weren't as good as those prices like no. floaty nessie san diego comic-con um freddie funko mm -hmm. exclusive they had hundreds at the buckeye warehouse so they're doing them for seven dollars and fifty cents usd mm -hmm. the online sale for us who were able to who can't go to arizona yeah they were only 10 percent off so they were 13 dollars and fifty cents so 50% off at Buckeye. <laughs> yeah. 10% off for all you jabronis that are stuck at home on your Googler. Exactly. So hmm. uh, a lot of exclusives were like that. Why so are they selling them for 50% off? They ma made too many. Like we were actually... Yeah, but they could sell them for 10% off on the site, you know? Yeah. So why not do them for 50% off of the site? Or you just have too many... After I, I understand because the, the warehouse is where it's shipping out orders. And why didn't these pops sell out on the con? We talked about that too because Freddy Funko is something that usually we talked about that on a previous mm -hmm. show. Freddy Funko is usually something that's gone when it comes to conventions. Absolutely. So why do you have hundreds at the Buckeye warehouse? Nothing adds up to me. Also, also at the Buckeye, they had WonderCon exclusives, mm -hmm. they had Fright Night exclusives, ones that were sold out. Mm -hmm. When those things dropped online, right? They still had them. Why do you still have them? And they're seven dollars and fifty cents. Now, more infuriating was last year they had a black light battle mystery box, four pops. Mm -hmm. It was super popular. All those things were super limited. Those yeah. boxes were gone. I don't even remember those boxes. But Did we get any? No, oh. no. They All sold right. out. That's they the sold point. Sold out. So. Yeah. That's what's crazy is that mm. they had, and there's pictures online, mm. dozens. Yeah, I don't understand that. Dozens of them, and the pops inside are crazy limited. Oh, I know. People made out like bandits. So we didn't Woo. see how much, and nobody was commenting how much the at the Buckeye Warehouse sale, yeah. those Blacklight Battle Boxes were, but inside they had 500-piece Freddy is Optimus Prime, okay? It's valued at 800 USD. Mm-hmm. I saw a 3,000 piece uh, Sorceress con mm. sticker. Yeah. Uh, somebody pulled Hall H Demogorgon Glows, 1,600 piece. Why do you still have those? I thought they were even just selling those on their own. I thought I saw pictures. Oh, maybe. Of that. I saw them. Somebody pulled one in, in yeah. a Blacklight Battle yeah. Box. I thought I saw stacks of the Optimus Prime as Freddy's. I don't know. Yeah. I just saw pictures. I don't $175 know. $175 yeah. USD value on those glow red Demogorgon. Yeah, the red, the red yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the metallic stitch? 3,000 piece. It's the 626 model, I think. And it sure. came with the lounge fly bag. Okay. It's worth $500 USD. All right. At the warehouse sale. I don't get this. They're just devaluing their own brand. So I, I don't, don't get it. don't understand. Why do you have it and why are you yeah. just devaluing it and blowing it out for nothing? They had Yuletide Freddy's, uh, a bunch of the Freddy's, $7.50. One piece. You know uh, how much one piece like mm -hmm. sells out, yeah. right? One piece, the Law, Trafalgar Law with a Polar Tang. By the way, best name ever. Polar Tang. Polar Tang. That's like a strip club in Alaska. Oh, yeah. I've been it's there. called the Polar Tang. Been there. Uh, the one-piece ship mm -hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. 
Uh, it was a WonderCon, I believe. Yeah. Those were sold out online mm-hmm. instantly. Right. They had tons of them at the warehouse. So why weren't those still available online? I think that's what's bothering me is all these super limited things. Why do you still have them? Yeah, why wouldn't you just restock them online and make full pop? You would, and they would sell out. You get, you get a hundred percent. Like, yeah. why would you just do it at fifty percent off? So there's also or whatever these, you're selling at, like black garbage bag, small little twist, like you told me that bags for twenty five bucks, and they had pops or full size pins in them for twenty five bucks. It's just classy, I, I, <laughs> classy. Hey, should we use uh, cardboard sorters? No. All right, yeah, let's go to the Dollarama and get some black handled small garbage bags. By what they were selling at this uh, at this warehouse sale, I'm yeah. surprised there weren't fights. Yeah, especially on those uh, yeah. those uh, black light. You think uh, people have been losing boxes. their minds? Yeah. Uh, so there's also Target, Amazon, Walgreens exclusives, uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. Sodas for seven fifty. Uh, the Wampas. Uh, which I believe are sold out. The four liter sodas. The three, yeah. The oh, sorry, three, three liter sodas. Soda? Soda? Yeah, those are totally sold out. Twenty dollars. Mm. Eighteen inch Vaders for half price. Mm. Those were offered on the online sale. I'm, so, ha- I'm having it a hard time with what what Funko's decisions are. Yeah, like you're all you're saying you're going back to basics. You're going to be all about collectors. Then why did you do this? Yeah, because you just took other collectors across the world. Yeah, you other collectors that couldn't make this go. What the? F- yeah, like, I'm not in distance yeah. of ease ease to yeah. get to Buckeye, and I, and I'm Arizona. In, I'm not crapping on the people that were there. Great, I'm, you guys. Oh, lo- congrats! Congrats! Congrats for doing what you're doing. As a collector that got sold this bag of magic f- beans that these yeah. are limited and blah 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 blah. Well, you seem to have an abundance. Why of do them. you still have them? You seem to have a lot of that. You know. So what would? And that's make- a bad business model to sell it at 50 percent off when you can get full price on the website. The Grails. That stuff, you put it online at full pop, they're gone. There should have just been so tables. Just tables of of just commons and exclusives that you have too much stock in. As far as the eye could see, Machine Gun Kelly pops. <laughs> you walk in and it's just Machine Gun Kelly pops. Those are surprisingly popular. $7. <laughs> getcha. You know? Why wouldn't you put those Transformer uh, Optimus Prime yeah. Freddies on your website for $49.99? I would, we would buy them. You'd buy them. Yeah. I'm well, sorry. I mean, they're worth $800. Yeah, you're so. going to buy them, right? Why wouldn't you buy them? You buy them for $49.99, Or right? offer these crazy grail mystery boxes for a decent price. They were doing the Camp Fun Day stuff for $105. Yeah. Uh, so why not do that? Do a high roller grail. We have these leftovers. And do it for 105 bucks, and mm. let the money roll in. Why are yeah. you selling these things dirt cheap at a warehouse sale that shouldn't be sold out in the first place? That's what bothers me. You know, when I go to the Nike outlet, <laughs> yeah, and everyone gets super excited. Hey, check out if you see any Jordans there for me. You know what? We don't. Because <laughs> you know what? The they're area- gone. No, they don't go to the Nike they're outlet. Sold out. No, they're sold out on that. Yeah, they sold out online. They don't have them. At they're the not outlet. like, oh, we got all these extra Jordan threes. What are we gonna do with them? Send them to the outlet. No, they don't do that. They don't exist. Jordan's like, no. <laughs> I want a hundred percent. Right. This stuff should be sold for 100%. Yeah. I don't understand why you're doing a warehouse sale with a bunch of grails. But then why were these things originally offered online mm. and s- said, told to us, sold out, yeah. and then they're not, clearly not sold out because people were posting pictures of things that were super limited yeah, and getting them at a steal at the Buckeye warehouse sale. It- that doesn't make any sense. Use a warehouse sale. We should run a warehouse sale. Yeah. You come to the warehouse, you everything's 10 bucks. You just picking out commons like crazy or yeah. five dollars. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a warehouse sale right. of just the whole point is stuff you can't get rid of. Why do you still have limited piece grails at a warehouse sale? I don't want to crap on Funko. I'm trying not to crap on Funko. We want to be positive. We want to be positive, but they're talking about them making horrible business decisions, going down the wrong path. This is another one to me. Yeah. Why this is a bad decision. Why devalue your brand by yeah. selling high-end grails for nothing yeah. and just giving them away and then pissing off more collectors that are just like, because we're cool with it. We're like, hey, good for everybody, but I bet you there's a lot of people that aren't. Yeah. A lot of people are like, no, that's I'm proud. Of, like, I'm happy for the people that are physically able to go. I'm jealous. Yeah. And it's just weird to me that a warehouse sale should be, you know what? We have 
hundreds of these. Yeah. And they're six dollars or they're seven fifty, but don't do grails. You don't go to a warehouse sale and it's got really good stuff. Commons and exclusives yeah, like, at cheap price that you gotta get rid of it. I get that. Yeah. That's a business move. Yeah. But having sixteen hundred piece red demogorgon glows, whole H exclusives. We'll yeah. never get our hands on those. Yeah. And they're just willy nilly in a blacklight battle mystery box. At the Buckeye Warehouse, those shouldn't exist. There was only sixteen hundred made. Yeah, but you I gave don't it, understand. But you also gave it away for nothing. Yeah, put it online, get full pop. I would love to know what those were going for. Please tell us in the comments what you think of the whole Buckeye Warehouse sale. If you were there and you know how much the Blacklight Battle Mystery Boxes with the four Grails in it, including the Hall H, the Optimus Prime Freddy's, all those Loki Freddy is Loki Blacklight. All those, if you knew how much those four pop boxes were at Buckeye, put it in the comments because we want to know. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what you think overall of this whole shenanigans because uh, we want to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for this video. Until next time, I'm Fish. Get up. We'll see you again soon. See you.